welcome to my channel right now you are in the right place hello merry christmas just about christmas or after christmas preparing maybe this might be june for you every day is christmas especially when you think about the reason for the season all right so here i am about to make for you a personalized christmas ornament we have these bold colors and for those who have watched my this season christmas ornaments you may have seen this but we're doing this different we're doing a different technique i hope you like it and for that we're going to use some resin of course my molds of course some clear glue and the color combinations you can see the red a, a fine and chunky all of them we have a fine and chunky so we have red blue silver green gold for the white we don't have a white fine glitter but we have this may spring dazzling diamond it's usually like a glitter white and uh, something else to show you is that even with all these colors we'll use a little of this in every one of these so as we go along i'll right for you what i'm using but everything used on this video is linked in the description below let me know what you think about this and all the others that i've been doing for christmas is this something you do what's your favorite color please let me know in the comment section below and if by the time we are done with this you like or i've added value to you you've liked what i've made please subscribe and press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos and all other christmas ornaments that I'm making for you and if you want to see variations maybe from clients or on the tree and styled please follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Judith Mego Inspire so let's get to it the same way I'm going to show you how I'm putting here I've put silver green gold white blue and now the red so I'm just with a small spoon I'm just putting not too much a little red fine glitter and then a little red chunky glitter and then and this cup I'll put a little more because this is the glitter that this would be its glitter so i'll put just a little more okay so that's white and then in each cup i'm just going to put a little white and later on you will see why i'm putting just a little bit of this not too much just a little If I mix and I see I need extra, I can always add. You know what you can do is remove. So I better add less and then add in case I need to. Yeah. So then let's mix our resin. Now where am I? Gloves, my mask. Then we go on.
see how they don't because I've filled them up just a little above the top but now when you do that you have to make sure you don't touch again so that because if when you move it it's going to pour out but these ones have stayed nicely that's how they're looking right now I can't wait to demold them here we are they have cured and I love 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 how they're looking the way they are they are finished we just need to demold but because I told you for today we are doing the personalized uh, set to just show you how to personalize I'm going to show you how we put the names on to see a full video on how I create it check the card above about uh, when we made the reusable resin pens because they have just given a full tutorial on how to create letters okay. so this is for a family so i've put the transfer tape and if you check the card you will understand what i mean and now I put it like this or like this or like this let's do this then it's not the usual yeah so let's put that down like that then use this or you can use your fingers if you want and uh, this time I have not demolded yet just because I think it's easier to have it held here instead of having to demold. The other thing is, remember when we made it, it was domed already. If it hadn't domed yet, I would have put the letters and then put another layer of resin on top. Or if I wanted the other side to be the main side, I would have demolded, turned it around, put this, and then maybe added a layer to demold so there's different ways to make your creations but because this is a christmas piece that is not used often i don't really have to seal it so we are not sealing this And this last one is the pet for the family so we're putting the name but check the card above on the card the pets video that I showed you if you have a dog we can make one for your dog we can personalize it with the name or just stencil so check the card above we have quite a selection of Christmas ornaments so there it is so now we just need to remove them My nails are not long right now. Let's do it. Okay. Let's demold them. Christmas ornaments, different colors. Selection is endless. And this is just what I could create for this video. Imagine the colors of the rainbow, how many options we would have. There are Christmas balls. Let's turn them around. Even at the back, they look really nice. So you can have them two sided. So I want to show you what I meant about 
when you look in the sides are matte the mold the sides is matte finish but if you look if you look you can see the cloudy cloudiness the, the glitters are floating and like this one where the glitters have sunk these ones the glitters are floating inside so I can imagine against the light so stay so that you see how they are against the light only very few are at the bottom which I like it has a very very pretty pretty and even the bubbles themselves I'm imagining in the light how they will see how they are floating I imagine how they reflect the light looking from the back very few and one of my viewers subscribers shared with me that how you can use glue so that your uh, glitters don't sink and I thought oh, what a nice idea for Christmas ornament so don't forget to subscribe press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos and all the ones in this Christmas season I'm making and also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Julia Megwe in Spire so that we style this for you to see. God bless you, Barakatele. See you on my next video. I've added a, a slight gold trim and I'll do the same for all the others, even though here there are silvers and all, but it's looking They're looking a little the balls are looking more defined when they have the line so not too much just enough just that enough that you can see them against so that they're not too glassy glassy is good so if that's your option if that's what you prefer we make them like that but if you also want a trim that's also possible there's something very light not big so that we keep that fluffy fluffy look with just a little definition when we do the reveal you'll see on the close-up 